John Edwards here talking about contamination control fundamentals, specifically uh, how to select filters and where to place them in the system. Um, uh, we have pressure filters, we have return line filters, we have recirculating filters, we have suction filters, uh, and we have breathers. Uh, all of these are areas that, that uh, we can concentrate on uh, to maximize our, our, our best um, uh, technology to get the best filtration for the system. If you were designing a system from scratch, you have better flexibility about placing these filters uh, and doing it from the beginning. But if you've got a system that needs upgrade that's not, at, that's not uh, performing at the ISO cleanliness code and you need to upgrade it, then a recirculation kidney loop is probably a better bet than uh, buying a pressure filter and um, uh, breaking the lines, shutting the machine down and putting that in there. A kidney loop is always the most effective way uh, to clean your system. You don't have to worry about uh, uh, pressure drops. You don't have to worry about flow surges. You can leave them on while you go home at night while the machine shut down. Um, uh, it, it is the most effective way to do that. And, mo and a lot of systems, OEM systems, are designed uh, with those uh, in mind today. Uh, breathers is an area that uh, is a simple, economical uh, way to look at a system. Uh, a lot of times when the original equipment manufacturers build the machinery, uh, they may want to save a few bucks and you might have a system that has good filtration on it and a not, a, not a very good breather. As a matter of fact, a lot of times they're filter caps. Uh, so for ten dollars or, or less you can uh, upgrade your breather on your hydraulic reservoir and make sure that you're ca catching those uh, contaminants, airborne contaminants as they try to ingress into the reservoir.